take a look at your course syllabus. And you'll see that we just talked about Bill Gates and Michael Jordan. And there are four major objections that we just examined. One, Takahiro said that the poor need money more. This was my objection, my first one. It was also the first one raised in this class. That's a very powerful objection. There was another one, which was not mentioned here. But people say it's not slavery to tax people. Taxation by consent of the governed is not, is not a form of coercion. We all live here and are bound by the same laws out of an implicit social contract. We are bound by a social contract with the government of Japan. We must agree to its laws as long as we are Japanese citizens. This is objection number two. Objection number three says that the successful owe a de debt to society. And we heard this from two people. They say, well, again, Takadori said this as well. But he said, well, hey, people helped him. People helped Bill Gates. People help Michael Jordan. So they also have to contribute and give back to society. And the fourth, this was not raised here, but wealth depends partly on luck. It just so happens that basketball is a popular sport. It just so happens that Michael Jordan was born tall. Perhaps these are random factors. Perhaps Michael Jordan doesn't really deserve that money in the first place. Now, there's a difference between needing money, though. Let's take a look at the libertarians. I remember many libertarians were over here, right? Let me ask you guys a question. And what I want to hear from one of the libertarians is, does needing something and deserving something, are they fundamentally different? Now let me give you an easy example. I need A's. I need good grades. But if I go up to my professor at the University of Tokyo and say, Professor, I need good grades. So you have a duty to give me an A. I think he would give me a C or a D. What I'm saying is needing something and deserving something might just be different. And this is a very powerful argument against critics of libertarianism. So someone from this side, would you want to tell me whether or not the poor also deserve the money? Do the poor, Takahiro said the poor need help. Well, yes, many people need help. But do they also deserve the help? Uh, it doesn't have to be Takahiro, but does anyone still think not only do the poor need money, they also deserve the money from our taxes. Takahiro seems to be very anti <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, well, first, the poor people need money. Um, I think the, the government um, have duty to pay some money to poor people. And because um, um, poor, poor people uh, can, um, can... Poor people have the um, bad environment so and they they can't um money out of money uh, because of their environment uh, for example uh, children who 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 are born in very poor family mm -hmm. uh, they have no way to uh, earn money because uh, they can't study or uh, and they have to work so hard until very young days and so and so the uh, the environment uh, between uh, rich people and poor people are different, and I think it is an inequality. And so the government have the duty to pay some money to poor people. Takashiro says the poor, likewise, are poor because of socially determined factors, because of the social environment. Thus we have an obligation to help them out. Before we continue the debate, I'm going to offer you guys a case study that further examines whether or not Takahiro is correct. On March 11, 2011, a terrible magnitude 9.0 earthquake struck Japan. The people 
Hotel Oki of northeastern Japan are still devastated even three months after the earthquake. Only 20% of the damage from the earthquake has been cleaned up. Much of the infrastructure, much of the damage has still yet to be repaired. Now imagine, let's say that there was a new law which says people who live in Tokyo and people who live in Western Japan will now pay twice the tax they currently pay in order to help reconstruction in Northeast Japan. Takahiro says that social factors, social environment is very important. So would it not be justified for people in Tokyo to have to pay twice as much taxes to help other Japanese in Northeast Japan? Let's take a poll. Raise your hand if you think taxing Tokyo and West Japan, a special regional tax, to help the people in Northeast Japan would be justified. Raise your hand if you think this would be unjustified. Okay, now we have a split like right along the road. <laughs> Let's hear first from the people who say that it would be justified. Why would this be justified? disagrees with Momoko. 